Hey guys, hi, welcome back once again and this time I wish to take up the last video that I had made, edited, posted and shared and kind of link it to today's topic. So the last video's topic, if you go on and look into it, was all about life is about living forward but is it is about learning things in hindsight. And when I looked into my video after having edited it for the very first time, I realized that I had goofed up, that I had fumbled. And when I realized that, I went something <gasps> like this and I laughed at myself. And there was this realization also that somewhere I felt lighter and yes there was this other logical notion also going on at the same time which was saying that you are putting things on a public platform you can't goof up it's got to be perfect you can't mess up and had it been on a more professional arena I would have probably felt oh my god what just happened there and that is also trying to align myself into saying that it is okay to falter because that is what human beings are designed for we are designed for evolution which means that we are designed for change for growth for learning for unlearning for transformation which means that we've got to keep editing stuff in our life all the time we can't live with a fixed notion of things because if we live with a fixed notion of things I think we get fossilized and again, if we live with the notion of perfectionism or attaining perfection, we are in the same breath also saying that that's the highest point, that's the best version of me and that is where, what I'm striving for, which in one breath is okay. But in the other breath, it also says that if we reach there or when we reach there, we stop to evolve because beyond that growth is not possible. It's just too perfect. So obviously there can be no evolution, there can be no change, there can be no growth, there can be no learning and unlearning and editing and re-editing and changing and transforming and transformation. It is just not possible. So let us try and think of perfection in a different light. We are raised in a culture of perfection, of perfectionism, of trying to achieve perfection because, because perfection in one breath says that that is fantastic. In the other breath it also says that if you are not there you are not good enough. And even your good enough can never be good enough because you fell short, because you stumbled, because you faltered, because you fell short. And that is why you are not good enough. And I think that is a heavy, huge baggage to carry. Unless we are willing to carry that, I think that's a choice that we have. But that's a huge baggage to carry because that is not the baggage that we only carry but it is also the baggage that gets transmitted to somebody else. That is also the baggage that is transferred to somebody else because we as species are constantly interactive species. We are relationship species. 
we live in communities we live in tribe wherein we are constantly interacting and dealing with people we are constantly exchanging information and emotion we are constantly exchanging that and if we are cultured and growing up in a culture of perfection we are constantly somewhere telling the other that you are not good enough and even in retrospect we are telling ourselves that i am not good enough which also means which also means a lot of shame so let's try and rather than strive for perfection why not strive for good enough every single time why not strive for excellence and a trial for excellence and a leaning towards excellence and not perfection why not try and say that yes i am an evolving species i am a work in progress and there will be times when this work is going on i will fall flat i will fall short there will be times when i'll be running and jumping and there will be times that i'll be taking a slower pace there will be times when i'll even be panting and slowing down and there will be times when i'll just stop just stop to reflect or just stop to take a breath to take a breather and just see things around and that is what i think evolution is all about so let's try and see ourselves more as work in progress constantly evolving constantly learning constantly growing constantly changing constantly editing our own pieces so that we like ourselves a little more every time so that we are more authentic towards our own selves so that we are able to embrace our own selves a little better and when i am saying all of this i am not denying that i am still somewhat of a perfectionist when i am writing my blogs i do go back and edit them i do go back and see if i have not made any grammatical or spelling errors and invariably i do even when i post them there are a few errors but i do realize that and in the same breath i am also trying to say that when we are trying to be perfectionists we are also trying to control a lot of things like as simple as that most of the days my curls are quite messy like they are i think they look messy and i want them to be perfectly messy now how weird is that curls are supposed to be messy and yet i want them to be perfectly messy if they are going to be messy any which ways i still want that i still want a control over them which is also somewhere saying that my way or no way that if i don't have control over things and if i don't have control over my surroundings it is not good enough and i would like to quote few lines of uh you know from the famous uh researcher brene brown who has been a vulnerability and a shame research of a very long and she goes on to say few things she says when perfectionism is riding shame is always the shotgun and fear is the annoying back seat driver which is in the same breath saying that at the back seat in the back seat overlooking us will be fear of shame that we did not do enough we did not live enough and we did not care enough perfectly which invariably means we are not enough and yes at times at times that can be a good shield 
to protect us when we really feel threatened. But we also need to realize how often are we doing that. Because the more we have that shield, the less we show ourselves. When we are wearing masks all the time, we barely show ourselves, we barely show up. We barely reveal ourselves, we barely open ourselves. And when we don't open ourselves, when we are shut down, there can be no connection. There can be no exchange or interchange of information and emotion. And somewhere, we become more mechanized and robotic. And even if we understand that the perfect robot or the perfect machine that does everything perfectly when a command is put into it invariably runs out. It's got to be replaced because it burns out. It burns itself out. And I don't think so. We like to burn ourselves out. But unfortunately, that is exactly what we are doing to ourselves. And not only on the individual level, but on collective levels as well. So let's try and understand where our perfection comes as a defense mechanism and where our perfection holds us back that we cannot really connect on human levels. Where we are coming armored all the time and where we are able to take off that armor. So let's try and see perfection in a different light. Let's strive more towards feeling good, being good and being good enough every single time. Being good enough every single time so that a better version of ourselves is created and recreated in recreation every single time so that it doesn't feel forced and enforced but it comes organically so that life breathes organically so let's try and do that more often and i will see you once again next week till then stay connected